Where is your IT resources hosted? Is it in on-premise or is it in public cloud or is it in private cloud or in a hybrid cloud? So if you don't know the difference between these different infrastructure setup, then this video is for you. Welcome to CCNA 20301 Implementing and Administering Cisco Solutions Chapter Number 29 On Premise versus Cloud Architecture. In this chapter, we will discuss about various environments that organization use to store and access the resources such as on premise, public cloud, private cloud, and hybrid cloud architecture. What is an on premise architecture? On-premise means an infrastructure that set up, deployed and running within your organization. In this kind of setup, every IT resources shall be running from the local data center that is hosted inside the organization. For example, we can consider one organization and it has a local data center hosted in that organization. And this local data center contain multiple network and server rack which is used to host the servers and the services. All of the services that require for that organization, it is locally hosted inside its local data center. Here you can see an AD server which contain all the Active Directory objects of that organization. And here we can see one print server which is used to authenticate user to take the printout and here we can see one exchange server which is using for the email communication and here we can see one sql server which is used to store the database of that organization and all of these resources are shared within the user in that organization so that means only the user in that organization can access these services the people from outside or any other organization are not able to access the services unless it is published by the public internet or using any VPN service. So basically we can say that the on-premise architecture is an infrastructure setup that is running within the organization and it is not available for public. Now let's see what is public cloud architecture. What does it mean? So the public cloud is defined as the computing services offered by a third party provider over the public internet. What does it mean? This means that this infrastructure is not hosted inside the organization. It is hosted by a third party and the organization is accessing the services using the public internet. For example, consider this organization and they don't have a local data center inside the organization. So instead of setting up a local data center inside the organization, they contacted some third party service provider and they host all of their infrastructure within the public cloud of that third party. So that indicate that all of their services are hosted in public cloud that is owned by the third party and the organization using public internet to access the services. So in this situation, organization's active directory is hosted inside the public cloud. The print server is hosted inside the public cloud. Email server is hosted inside the public cloud and the SQL server is also hosted inside the public cloud. And the user accessing all of these services from inside the organization using the public internet link. That means this link. So the users from inside the organization they get authentication to log into their computer using the Active Directory server which is hosted in the public cloud. They are able to print by getting the authenticating the print server which is hosted in the public cloud. They are able to send and receive the email using the email server which is hosted in the public cloud. And they are able to retrieve the data or the database using the SQL server that is hosted in the public cloud. So all of the services are running from the public cloud. So why we call this as a public cloud? That means this cloud infrastructure that is not only for this organization. There may be another organization that is using the services from the same cloud. 
there may be another multiple organization that is using the services from the same cloud from the same service provider so basically saying the public cloud is shared between multiple organization it is not dedicated to a single organization that's why it is called public so what are the example for this public cloud one is the amazon web service another one is microsoft azure then microsoft office 365 then google apps then google docs all of these are example of the public cloud now let's see what is a private cloud architecture a private cloud is a cloud computing environment that is dedicated to a single organization that's why it is called a private cloud so in this kind of setup the organization host all of its infrastructure inside a private cloud this private cloud is not located inside the organization instead this will be hosted somewhere else outside so in this private cloud there will be a data center or multiple data center which contain multiple network racks and server racks and the organization can host all of its IT services inside this data center so when we talk about this data center in that private cloud maybe this complete data center is owned by this organization or maybe this data center is owned by a third party and this organization leases the data center from that third party or maybe there is a chance this organization doesn't lease the complete data center and instead they lease only few network and server racks to host their IT services and why would they do that thing to reduce the cost because if they want to lease the complete data center then it is very costly but when they lease only few server racks to host their IT services then they can reduce the hosting charges in this concept this kind of data center is also called co-location what is a co-location means co-location means this data center is not completely dedicated to one organization there may be another organization who is using some of the network racks from this data center and there are another organization may be using some of the other network racks from this data center that's why this kind of concept is called co-location co-location means the organization doesn't own the complete data center and instead they lease some of the network racks to host their infrastructure so this data center have multiple network and server racks and those network and server racks are leased by the multiple organization to host their infrastructure so in this way they can reduce lot of cost whatever the network rack this organization own that is completely dedicated to them only that is not shared with any other organization same like public cloud so this is a difference between the private cloud and public cloud in public cloud the cloud infrastructure is shared between multiple organization but in private cloud the infrastructure is only shared to that organization that's why it's called private cloud now let's see what is hybrid cloud architecture so we were talking about the on-premise architecture then the public cloud architecture then the private cloud and now what is this hybrid cloud architecture the hybrid cloud architecture refer to a cloud computing environment that combine both private and public cloud services allowing data and application to be shared between them so the definition is simple the hybrid cloud architecture mean it is a combination of private cloud and public cloud together and nowadays most of the organizations are using a combined architecture which contain both private and public cloud architecture that means most of the organizations are currently using a hybrid cloud architecture now the question is why a organization need to use hybrid cloud architecture simply asking why they want to use both private and public cloud so one is not enough so let's see why they want to use both together consider an organization which is currently running only from a public cloud that means all of the services for this organization is hosted inside the public cloud so this organization active directory will be inside the public cloud SQL server will be inside the public cloud print server will be inside the public cloud so what will happen when this public cloud is not available or the link to the public cloud is down the users from the organization are not able to log into their computer because the active directory is not available they cannot retrieve and read the database because the SQL server is not available and they cannot print because the print server is not available so in this kind of situation 
what the organization can be done. So one of the possibility is host the copy of the infrastructure into a private cloud, which means same like this public cloud, this private cloud will also have an active directory, a SQL server, a print server, and what are the services available in the public cloud? They take a copy and host in the private cloud and they synchronize together in between public and private cloud. So for any kind of situation, if the public cloud is not available or it is down, still the users from the organization can authenticate using the Active Directory in the private cloud, can access the database from the private cloud, can print using the print server which is hosted in the private cloud. And this copy will be up to date because there is a synchronization between the public cloud and private cloud in both way, in two way direction. Now on the other hand, what if this private cloud down, still the user can use the services from the public cloud. So what if both private cloud and public cloud are down? That is very rare situation. So in that situation, their services will be completely down 100%. But it is very rare chance, 99.9% .9 any one of the services will be running. So the organization doesn't want to worry about that situation. So in this chapter, we have discussed about various environment that organization used to store and access the resources such as on-premise, public cloud, private cloud and hybrid cloud architecture. Thank you very much for watching and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Enhance your skills through iRush Academy.